Hey everybody, Techie101 here. Welcome to another issue of Mail Time. Uh, haven't done one of these in the past few months. I do have fan mail here. I got a big backlog of fan mail here. Haven't gotten a lot of it uh, recently. And that's of course because, you know, since Bleach ended, I am, uh, I am no longer relevant. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I am no longer relevant. I should just quit YouTube. Um, I don't know why I even still make videos, except for the fact that I'm getting views and my subscriber count's still growing up, going up, and uh, people keep asking me to make videos. I don't know why I keep doing it. It seriously perplexes me. It keeps me up at night. Oh, we're drinking Crystal Pepsi with this one. Yeah, I bought this like a month ago because I'm like, whoa, Crystal Pepsi. That's that drink that everybody that lived in the early 90s remembered and wanted to bring back. I should probably pick some up. And, uh... It took like 20 years to come back, and um, it's been sitting in my fridge for like probably a month, probably closer to a month and a half. So I've never actually tried this before. Um, I never had Crystal Pepsi when I was a kid. I did have Surge, and they re-released Surge uh, a few months back, and I've, I've been enjoying that. But I actually had Surge when I was a kid. I've never had Crystal Pepsi because it was discontinued like probably around the time I was born. So let's 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 give this a shot. Tastes like Sprite. Okay. Well, that was, yeah, that was a lot of the a lot of people that are like big Crystal Pepsi fans are like, it does not. I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever you say. Right, try Crystal Pepsi. Attacking 101 endorsement. All right. So first thing, um, yeah, okay. I guess we'll go through this. Uh, this was sent to me by my friend Justin Chipman. Little Chippy is what I call him. Not really. Never called him that up to this point. But he sent me this. Um, it is a Mega Evolved Mewtwo action figure. Uh, I believe it's Mewtwo X. Yeah, yeah, Mewtwo Mega Evolve from Pokemon X. Um, and it's Mongkole. Now, I don't know, because the rest of this is written in Japanese. Like, Japanese. But then it says Mongkole. And I know Mon, monster, but Kole, I don't know. That looks Spanish to me. Sounds like the name of, like, a Spanish festival or something. Like, are you going to the Mongkole? Mongkole! And then you break out some maracas and castanets. Like, do -do 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 -do. all right. Um, yeah, so, little tiny Mewtwo X action figure. Does he move? He does! He can- oh, he can run. I can make Mewtwo run. I just realized Mewtwo bears a stunning similarity to Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. I mean, it's not exact, but it's there. Am I the only one? I mean, like, I don't know, it's just the general color scheme, sort and the tail. Sorta, kinda. Like if you take mute if you take Frieza's second and fourth form and like combine that together, you sort of get Mewtwo X. Kinda. Alright, well, I'm gonna put him there. And he's falling down. He can't even stand up right, but whatever. Most powerful psychic Pokemon. He's probably not the most powerful. What 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 would be the most powerful psychic Pokemon? I don't know. Leave a comment below on that one. I can't remember. Um, I was thinking of a legendary, but I'm like, and I can't remember which ones are psychic and not. Um, all right, so this one is sent from John Carutis from Washington, Washington State. So it's probably weed. Wait, no. Yeah, it's probably weed. All right, so this is, ugh, got a note here. And, uh, oh, Bleach, the third phantom. That's one of the only, I think that's the link. I know there's more than one DS game, but... Well, no, actually, Soul Carnival was for the PSP, right? This might be one of the only two DS games. I know there's the Dark Souls, which is the one I've had for years. And this is the other one, uh, the Third Phantom, which uh, I've actually looked at this uh, a little bit on the wiki uh, just because it introduces these two new characters to the franchise. And I don't remember their names. This chick with the flowers in her hair, her name starts with a K, I know that. Um, but they they have three new characters. They have these two, and then they have a new captain of the 5th Division who has, like, a lightning Zompocto. And I thought that was pretty cool. It's more of like a, um... I've heard it's more like a strategic game rather than uh, Dark Souls, which was pretty much just a tournament fighter. This is more... Oh, there was no weed in there. Damn it. Um, but, uh, I did hear this is more of, like, a strategic one. So maybe I'll check that out on my 3DS, I guess. I could give that a shot. Um... Yeah, and I remember it's, like, pretty cool because, like, these two characters that are introduced, you can, like, choose which kind of Zompok Toes they'll have, like, depending on what kind of, like, like an offensive type, defensive type, Aikido type, and they'll have different 
Shikais and Bonkais, respectively, depending on what type you chose. So that's a pretty cool idea. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much, John, for that. I shall read your note, I suppose. That would be the that would be the sporting thing to do. Yo, Tekking 101, forgive though horrible handwriting, but figured you could use some cheering up after the end of Bleach. No, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I've watched your videos for a few years now, and though I've uh, though you've never failed to entertain, I uh, the the last thing I can do is send you something to remember all the good times. Both you and Bleach have given everyone. Hope you got a DS. I have a 3DS. That's even better. Thanks again, man. And I hope to see more videos from you soon. P.S. If you do play this, try to do all of Uahara's optional training stuff. You'll get some good for it. Okay, cool. Peace out. Awesome. I got a peace out. All right, so I'll remember that when I play Bleach the Third Phantom to always listen to Uahara. I was going to do that anyway, but whatever. All right, so this next one I got is a big one. It's from Justin McDaniel, who's also a big fan of my stuff. I've got some other stuff from here before. He lives in Alabama, going down the old Alabama. And uh, he sent me this big thing, and he drew the squad emblem of the 13th Division, which I believe is the Snowflake. Not the Snowflake. Snow something. Hold on, I should know this. It's like Snow Blossom or something in the top. Snow Lily? I don't know. Hold on a second... Yeah, it's just a it's just a fan mail video. It's not like I have to prepare for these or anything, right? Oh, by the way, I'll take this time. Uh, P.O. Box and all that good stuff is in the link below if you want to check that out. Uh, it's symbol it's the snowdrop. There we go, the snowdrop. Now that sounds like a candy. That just sounds like a candy. You know what? By the way, while we're at this, since we're already on the wiki, might as well have another detour. I will check to see that character's name that I couldn't come up with there. Alright, her character is named um, Matsuri Kudo and her twin brother Fujimaru Kudo. Sounding a lot like Kubo. I don't know, but there you go. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, Snowdrop and Justin sent me God damn it. This is what I get for not opening my mail. This would have been perfect for the goddamn boobs video. Look at that. Look at that. He sent me a colored version of one of my favorite Bleach covers ever. The swimsuit pinup of Neliel, Orihime, Rangiku, and Rukia looking very seductive there, I might add. Uh, Nell is just looking fucking bombshell in the background there. Rangiku is like, I'm used to it, but... Damn. Okay, well, yeah, I wish I would have had that for the boob video, but I don't. Is there anything else today? Oh, yeah, he sent me a few of these. Okay, this is one. Uh, this is Ichigo from Chapter 100 and... Uh, no, no. <laughs> Ichigo from Chapter uh, 512 when he arrives in the Seireite to take down Bok after he was trapped in the Garganta for so long. Uh, this is Rukia from Chapter 570 after she releases her Bankai. This is Yoroichi going into Thundercat fuck you up mode from chapter 662. Here is just a, this is just a, just for the lulls. This isn't a, a colored version. This is just a printed out version. But this is, of course, uh, from chapter 662 as well with y uh, Yoroichi getting her butt stared at by Urahara. Admiring Da Booty. Yeah, that's a good scene. And finally, and last but certainly not least, we have Kanan Barake Benahime, Uohara's revealing of his Bankai from chapter 664. Uh, pretty beast. Pretty metal. Pretty metal and pretty beast. Um, I'm going to remember... That's pretty cool, just because of the diversity of the color, you know? Like, we got red here, yellow from this, blue from this. That's interesting. That's like an interesting, um, like, just color. Like, like just visual diversity, you know what I mean? Like, that's pretty cool. So I think I might get these framed, or they're already like they're already laminated. So I gotta give you points for that. Points for the lamination. People always send me like papers and fan mail and like stuff they drew in the mail, and sometimes it shows up. It gets here fine, but a lot of times, you know, sending just like notebook pa notebook paper or something in the mail, even if you put it in like a really sturdy envelope like this where it says "Do not bend" 
it gets it gets bent. It's gonna get fucking bent at some point. It's on a truck, you know. It's you know it's it's gonna get bent at some point. So if you have access to a laminator or some place that has that, I would recommend doing that if you're gonna send me fan art, just so it doesn't get destroyed by the time it gets here. Hey, Tacking, just wanted to send you some fan art me and my friend Irvin made. Well, thank you very much, Irvin. Hope you like it. Coloring by Irvin, lines by me, Justin. P.S. Ichirukia forever. Yes. It will live on. It will live on. I'm in the current process of creating a time machine that when it is completed, I hope I'll be able to go back in time and change the course of events. I'll have to do it Inception style, though. I'll have to go into Kubo's mind and, like, subconsciously plant Ichirukia, Ichirukia. Yep, that's Sprite. Okay, so, uh, what's next? A lot of my normal mail is mixed in with this, too. Like, this is a magazine from my, from my school I got in the mail. This is from... Lightning. Okay. Lightning from, uh, Can Arkansas. Ar Ar it's pronounced Arkansas, ya idiot. Alright, we got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards there from Lightning. Oh, man, that's a long letter. Okay, well, um, I'll read this. I'm gonna look at the cards first. Hold on. Alright, so, oh, these are some good ones. We got ourselves, uh, looks like a lot of gimmick puppets. We got number 88, Gimmick Puppet of Leo. Number 40, Gimmick Puppet of Strings. These are all XZs, by the way. I was like, oh, yeah, no shit, Matt. Yeah, I didn't know the black cards were fucking XZs. Also, by the way... I looked up today that apparently deck masters are a thing now. I haven't been pay I haven't been keeping up to date with my Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge. Admittedly, I apologize for that. I know I failed you all, but I've been looking into it. I guess apparently from what people are posting on Facebook, like the deck master concept that was originally introduced in like a fucking filler arc in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime is now like a real thing. So, could someone confirm that for me? I could just Google it, but it's funner this way. Alright, Acid Golem of Destruction. I actually have this one. He's a cool card. He's like an upgraded version of Lava Golem, basically. Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. I feel like I should say that again, but in like a Russian-y accent. Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do that, but I do have the Russian in my blood. I don't know if this is even sounding close to Russian, but whatever. Pretty cool card. It's like a giant fuck-off cannon, so that's always cool. Hero Kid, Elemental Hero, Sparkman, Featherwind, uh, Six Samurai, Iroh, Heroic Channel, Spartan. These are all cards I own, very common. But then we get to some Bleach trading cards. Bleach had a trading card game. Yes, every fucking thing had a trading card game. Um... It was Magic the Gathering that started it. You know, before Magic the Gathering, you didn't have, like, that kind of, like, trading card game where you would, like, actually play a game. It was, like, collectible stuff, like, 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 freaking Garbage Pail Kids and, like, shit like that. And then Magic came along and kind of revolutionized the whole system. And everything that came after that is sort of just kind of trying to mimic Magic in a way. Um, of course, you have Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! that managed to survive, but pretty much every anime, or any any anime in a way, always had some variation of a trading card game. It had DBZ had one, Naruto had one, Beyblades had one, Bleach had one. Just like all the others, they kind of faded into obscurity. Nobody really plays it anymore. But we got Ichigo Kurosaki, Schoolyard, I guess that's like a field spell, and then Encroachment. And something you can always count on from these types of cards that you could tell they were just phoning it in when they made these is that there's no artwork. It's usually the same for Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, although I don't know, I can't speak for those, but a lot of times there's no artwork. They'll just take screen caps from the anime and put that on a card. And I feel like that's cheap. Because at least Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, they got fucking professional artists to actually make the cards, you know what I mean? Like, bam, that looks, that's a holograph, you can't really see that too well, I apologize. Um, you know, even just for like, this is just a freaking land card, you know? It, it's a cool, a cool design, you know? It's, it, they, they go, they go the extra mile with that shit. All right, but that's just a slight tangent into trading cards. I'll try to get through this now. 
Hey, Techie, my name is Lightning, and I'm 24 years old. It's hard to tell from my penmanship but what gender it is, but I'm a female. Okay, cool. I have female friends. I have a 24-year-old female fan. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Just forget about it, Matt. I don't have a nice... Uh, I don't have nice penmanship like most women do. Hey, I've known at least two women that have really good penmanship. You already know one of them. I personally think it looks like a guy's handwriting. Also, this is the first time I've ever sent fan mail to anyone. Anyway, I've been recently subscribed to your YouTube channel, but I did learn about your channel from the Watch Mojo video. Thank you. I honestly didn't know there were manga reviewers on YouTube. We've been around for a while. We've been around for a while. I started watching Bleach videos when I was 15. I also read the manga, but I haven't read any since the final volume of printed Shonen Jump magazines. My favorite character is surprisingly Totsuki, but Baruki is my favorite soul reaper. Well, I can understand why you would like Totsuki if it's been a while since you've read the series. So allow me to catch you up on all the cool shit that Totsuki has done in the series since the last time you've read the chapters. She grew her hair out. At first, I didn't watch your Bleach reviews because I didn't want the series to be spoiled for me. Or maybe I did watch a few. Honestly, I don't remember. I do know that I did watch your other Bleach videos and your mail opening videos. Last week, I watched your videos on Toshiro's Bankai. Well, this was a long time ago. And I decided to watch your review where Toshiro had managed, which was uh, Chapter 670. Alright, so this is this is a little bit out of date. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, your videos are awesome, and they make me laugh when I'm all... Up all nights. I usually marathon YouTube videos, and that's why I usually watch your videos. Keep up the awesome videos. Sincerely, Lightning. P.S. I don't know when I'll be able to send this, but the final Bleach review will be posted by then. I'll try to send it sometime in August. Oh, okay, well then, yeah, it probably got here... Oh yeah, it definitely got here around August. Because that's, you know, the last time I remember getting, like, a big influx of mail. But thank you very much, Lightning. Lightning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh, okay. We got a... It looks like a fan fiction starring myself, but I don't see who sent this one. Um, do I have the envelope? I can't... Mm. It might be from this one. Yeah, because this envelope is empty. Sarah Witten from Cali, California. California. All right, so I'm going to assume it probably came in that. Because it's about the right size, and it also says do not bend, which of course means it got bent. Uh, but we'll just go through this. So, the front page here is pretty cool. It's me hanging out there. I'm wearing my Captain Hayori. Don't want the whole thing to fall out here. Um, it's obviously a long, it's, it's you know, many pages. So I, I, I might maybe do a separate video on this, but I can't read it all right now. But I will read the note that she sent. My name is Amber. I have been a fan of yours for a very long time. You have even inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. I haven't uploaded anything yet, but I have the busiest summer in existence, but that hasn't stopped me from watching your videos. They never fail to make me smile, and your theories always keep me thinking. By the way, have you seen Game Film Theory? I've seen Game Theory with Matt Pat, And of course I know Matt Pat because our names are Matt. Every Matt in history knows each other. By the way, I need to call back Matthew McConaughey. No, not Matthew Perry, though. He's kind of a dick. Um... In honor of Bleach ending and you reaching 70k subs, yeah, it's been a while, I wanted to do something to celebrate all you've done. So when you're watching your 70k stream, I heard you say, I built my castle up. Oh yeah, that's a poem. I just, okay, I've built this possible, I've built this castle upon the hill when it's gone, the tills I'll field. Just a random poem I came up with one day when I'm just sitting around thinking about when Bleach ends and I came up with this random fucking poem. Uh, you can think of it being ra rather deep and meaningful, but it's something I literally just jotted out within, like, five minutes. And that's got me thinking about your 5,000 subscriber contest. Oh, yeah, the Zompok Toe contest. I remember that. And you described your barracks as a castle. Did I? Hmm, I don't remember that. So in memory of the simpler time, I wrote a story inspired by all the fans who entered your contest. Sorry how bad it is. I'm dyslexic, but it's the thought that counts. Some of your lines are taken directly from your videos, but I also wanted to make it as accurate as possible. Also, when watching the winner's video, I noticed you completely skipped over the 11th seat. Did I? I apologize. So I found the winner's name in the description and tried to make an ability to fit that Zompok Show's name and worked with the story. I've sent you the first uh, sneak peek chapter, so I hope you like it. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I will check. I will read this. I will certainly read this. This is pretty cool. You got my Zompok Show right, too. Cool. You got the design of it basically on par. Um... Yeah, when, when I did, I guess it was the 5,000 subscriber special. I honestly do not recall now. But I did a contest where I asked you guys to send in your own Zompok Toe designs. And that was a fucking... 
that was a I wish I would have done more with it because the general idea was like I'm gonna pick 20 winners and each one gets like a seat in squad 101 I really had no plan on where that was going but I thought it was a fun little project that everybody did and I got a lot of cool entries a lot a lot of entries in that one I remember I got more for the Quincy contest honestly obviously because the Quincy contest I had like Shit, I only had like 15,000 when I did the Quincy contest. Wow, I need to do another contest. I was planning on doing one. You know what? I was thinking, I was kind of debating because I was so busy. It kind of like escaped my mind, but I kind of want to do one now considering it's it's getting close to the end of the, se well, about halfway through the semester. I probably could push out another one. I already know what the premise will be. I just have to jot out the rules. All right. Well, anyway, moving on. Uh, this one is from Tristan Spoden from Wisconsin. Spoden, Wisconsin, Ponchin, Sonson, Consen. Matt, hi! This is dated July 18th, by the way. Hope everything is okay. Did you have a great 4th of July? Uh, what the fuck did I do on the 4th of July? Oh, yeah. I bought a bunch of fireworks, and I was going to go down my friend Phil's to light them off, but it was raining, so I went home. So it was all right. Um, in my last letter, I meant to say Yuha's power is based on despair, he keeps saying it every chapter, and I think Ichigo's Bankai was underrated. Really? The the only the only one? No, no, his Bankai was underrated. I think he has a few more transformations left to go. He didn't. If you are looking for anything and can't find it, I have some friends at GameStop that might be able to help. Have a great day. Thanks. Tristan spoke. Okay, cool. So now I got a man on the inside of GameStop. I don't need anything at GameStop. Actually, no. Fuck that. I need a GameCube. I need a functional GameCube. You don't have to get me a GameCube. I'm not asking you to send me a GameCube. I'm just saying that it would be cool because today I was sitting around at work thinking about whatever random item and I, I remember this old game I used to play on my GameCube that I had a fucking blast playing. It was the Simpsons Hit and Run for the GameCube. And I'm thinking, man, that game was so fucking fun. I wish I could go back and play it, but I sold my GameCube years ago. I probably still have the game somewhere. But uh, I, I, I can't get a proper emulator for it because the GameCube controller is so unique. So, um, yeah, I'm going to probably look up to see. I can probably pick one up for relatively cheap, honestly. But I want to look up in that GameCube department. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's weird, too, because when I got the GameCube, I always had a bad habit of getting, like, the wrong game console. Like, in the fifth generation console, no, sixth generation, when you had... PS2, Xbox's debut, and then the GameCube, I decided to go with the GameCube, which is, I think, most people would admit that's kind of the short end of that stick. Um, I mean, there's some good games on the GameCube, like Smash is the obvious choice, uh, but I, uh, I didn't have Smash growing up, and I wish I would have went with the PS2 or the Xbox. Alright, so this one's from Bela Storms from Texas. Really great penmanship on this one, by the way. Uh, oh, it's a drawing. Great penmanship and great artistry. I look damn sexy in that one. I dreamed this... Like, I drew this, like, over a year ago. So, huh. Huh. Uh, I... Oh, man, the penmanship is too good. I can't read it. I don't have much to give. So all I come... T I All I... Come to do is express my gratitude. All right, well, this is this is more than enough to express the gratitude. It's very good if you actually... I mean, you can't tell, probably, but it's done with, like, mostly probably just a pen and a marker, obviously, but the shading on it is really good, really detailed there. So thank you very much. I wish it was bigger so I could, like, you know... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, huh. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to read this. Um... But, you do have Hashwolf up here, prancing away, saying, I killed my boyfriend, and now I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll give this a shot. This is dated July 13th, by the way. Dear Tacking 101, first off, I don't know how to write a letter without making it sound creepy in some way, so I apologize ahead of time, but somewhat... Knowing you, you would just equally as creepily back as you would be as equally creepily as back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would be. I would be. How you doing, by the way? How you doing? Yeah, I like your art. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Anyway, I'll just let I'll just go on and say that I've been watching your reviews 
and all that other good shit for almost two years now. I can't even remember how I found you, but I'm glad I did. Doesn't matter how, it only matters that you did. Uh, you explain things so thoroughly and logically. <laughs> all right. And still manage to be hilarious at all. <laughs> okay. All right, whatever you say. Whatever you say. I could never watch someone who was too serious or someone who strayed far from the topic altogether. Well... I stray very far from the topic sometimes. You've seen the tangents I go off on. My my tangents are biblical in proportion sometimes. You're perfect. Okay, I can agree with that. All right, I, I can agree with that one. Yeah, I can agree with that one. Honestly, I have, like, super shitty depression, and when I see you on my screen fucking around and doing your thing, it lifts my spirits for a little while. Aw, thanks. I get a lot of letters like that, you know? I get a lot of letters people saying, like, I'm... You know, I'm having a shitty day, and I come home and watch you, and it cheers me up. And I don't really know how to... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I just don't know how to, like, respond to that, you know? Because that's, like... That's, like, wow, I'm giving you guys, like... Like, a big changing point in your life, in a way. And that's, uh... That's, that's a lot of weight for somebody, you know? But I, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Uh, what makes me happiest is that you're probably reading this right now. My words, like I know... I exist. You do exist. You do exist 100%. Unless I'm in a coma dream right now. In which case, it would make more sense why this Crystal Pepsi tastes like Sprite. But yeah, you probably exist. Maybe it's just too much to handle. One of my favorite people in the entire fucking world knows I exist. You do exist! You exist. Um, hold on. What was your name again? Bela. You exist, Bela. Bela, you exist. 100%. Uh, for two minutes, damn it. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Knows I exist. For two minutes, all right. Uh, can you just tell me hi? Hi. Or something like that. Something like that. What's your favorite soda? What's your favorite soda? Is it Sprite? I like Dr. Pepper Code Red myself. That would make me fucking... That would make me... All right, let me... This penmanship is too good. That would make my fucking... Year, man. You... Don't even get it. I'm fired now. Tired now. Okay. Hopefully my messages are granted. Don't think. Hopefully my wishes are granted. Don't ever stop having you, Matt. Being you, Matt. Okay. P.S. I'm still bitter as fuck over Hashwolf's death. Yeah, I think we all are in that case. He didn't deserve that bullshit. God fucking damn it. I love him so much. He did have fabulous hair. If you ever... By the way, if you're ever curious about wanting to see... Hashwolf in the anime, just um, go watch the episodes with uh, Sile's brother, Ilfert Grants, and that'll probably fit your desire there. Alright, what's what's next? Uh, I don't know what this is. This is... Oh, this is my fucking bank statement. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna read my bank statement. Holy shit, I spend a lot of money on hentai. Alright, well, that's... um. Yeah, this is all just regular mail here, so that's that's all we had. Oh, wait, no, wait, is this something? Hold on. No, nope, that's regular mail. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much all the fan mail I got for you guys today, then. Um, we got some fan fiction, we got some fan art, we got some awesome penmanship, we got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and some uh, Bleach cards. Um, yeah. Thank you, to the bottom of my heart. Um, once again, if you want to further my ego and send me some fan mail i have a link in the description below that you can do that uh p.o box 436 culver pennsylvania 15927 um that contest i'll keep you updated on that uh i just have to fine tune the rules for this because it's a contest like the last one i did was the quincy one and it was like just create your own quincy relatively simple premise this one, I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun with it, but I have to kind of simplify it because my method might cause... I don't want to I don't want to make too much work for you, is what I'm basically saying. Because the Quincy contest was just create your own Quincy. This contest, I don't want to spoil too much, but I, I, I want to make it so everybody doesn't, like, work themselves to death trying to create a new you know, trying to enter the contest. So I got to simplify it a bit. Uh, but I would prefer to have it the same as I did last year, whereas, like, you have the month of November to do it, and then the winners are announced in December after I'm after I, after I I'm done with class and I'm on my winter break. 
Uh, but anyway, thanks again for everybody who sent me in mail. This will be Teching 101 signing. Oh, shit, I have the shit hat back there. I didn't even know that. Weird, dude. Weird.